for? Yes, please. I, I can try to help talk to him. It's at least one thing I've learned over the years, but anyways, so which church are we going to talk to first, then? I'd prefer to do Bahamut last. We can speak with Corellin, uh any of the clerics. I, I, I'm saying this out of character at this point. I, I don't want to have to like go through each and every single church to find out if they're willing to give us aid. Yeah, um... Uh, okay, so here's what's going to happen then. Um, like, the only one I actually really want to talk to is Bahama, but I, you know, in character we'd like right, to... Well, 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 how about this? Um, let's do... Let's do, since there's already Corellin, you can't really get to anyone at Paylor. Um, so Corellin, uh, after explaining the situation to Corellin, they're... Uh, they're a little hesitant to help you, mostly because <clears throat> a you're a dragon thing. <clears throat> uh, do, actually, let me ask you this: Are you going to reveal yourself to any of them? Well, I already revealed myself to the, the uh, cleric of Corellin. Oh, that's right, you did. But, okay, uh, so he's in, in this situation, I probably won't be the one going. I'll probably hang out at the hotel because. Um. So what they what they're going to do is that they'll agree to help you if you can get more clerics to help them because their numbers aren't vast. Um. But their plan is, they propose this plan to you, since Owain's probably going to be guarded by many and undead, uh, what they can do then is offer their services outside the hold and hold uh, and hold the undead at bay <clears throat> to give you guys time to get in there and kill Owain. Okay. And that's, that's the plan that they propose to you. Going over to the Church of Bahamut, however, Bahamut, however, um, are you going, or is it just the other guys? Uh, no, I'm gonna have to be the. I'd had to go, but uh, I probably won't be the one front out talking okay. to them at first. All right. So um, who's going to approach? Because I don't want to just have like four guys just standing there picking their nose. Uh, I assume Dolther, since he was the one who was gonna come with me. All right. And um, if we can try to get a <clears throat> private meeting with uh, one of the clerics there. Okay, one of the clerics of Bahamut. Yeah. Um. You approach the church, and uh, the church seems to be open for business. It is uh, midday, um, and one of the clerics uh, appears, appears to be tending to the altar of Bahamut at the front, uh, while uh, uh, whilst one of his subordinates, one of the altar boys, uh, appears to be attending to the pews. Dother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Could you say that again? I didn't. I didn't quite catch it. Oh, um, there is. Uh, you're at the church of Bahamut. The right. The cleric uh, appears to be attending to something, uh, either some sort of ritual or, or maybe just cleaning. Uh, you can't really tell. Uh, at the altar, at the head of the church, uh, at the center of the church, actually, um, all the pews surround it, surround the uh, altar, and uh, lead outwards from it. Um, and there appears to be a couple of altar boys who are attending to the pews, either putting, uh, they appear to be putting uh, pamphlets uh, down by the pews. All right, well, I'm going to uh, appro approach the head priest uh, until it's <laughs> apparent. It, until it's more fully apparent uh, what he's doing, and if he's um, doing something important. As important. you walk closer, uh, the cleric notices you and says, "Ah, can can I help you?" <clears throat> uh, yes, Stop there, doing. there is a rather important matter that I would like to discuss with you. Mm. Uh, that concerns my friend who has come with me, and uh, it, it, it is, a, all, however, it is a very private matter, and I would appreciate it if we could uh, uh, discuss it. Uh, well, in private, yes. Oh. Private matters and private makes sense. I um, didn't want to repeat myself, so... <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, um, uh, perhaps uh, the confessional would be more appropriate then, hmm? Uh, the back room, maybe? <laughs> the back room? Ah, so this is not about confessing your sins. Um, it is a, it is a bit more of a uh, unique matter. That requires your expertise in particular, what you feel. Ah, very well. Um, come, come with me, and then uh, he leads you to the back, uh, where uh, this is—it's basically his—it's basically the robe room, uh, where he can uh, get uh, disrobed or robed, as it were. And um, he looks at you, and says, oh, "Well, uh, no one else seems to be back here. What, uh, what can I help you with?" Uh. uh <sighs> Father, before I tell you what's happening, I want to stress right now that I'm not 100% sure what I'm saying is true, and I'm not claiming to be anything quite yet, but from what I understand, I may have an affiliation with a, a very special affiliation with Bahamut. 
How we all we we are all his sons and daughters. In a I way. may be one in a more <laughs> literal sense. <laughs> a, a literal sense, I see. Well, perhaps your faith is too strong. Maybe you should uh, maybe you should go drink some whiskey, eh? <laughs> um, <laughs> Father. Um... Sorry, did the, did the priest just tell me to go drinking? <laughs> he told you to go get drunk. He thinks you're insane. Father, uh, let me start at the beginning. My friend and I, <laughs> along with several companions of ours, were on a journey, and we stumbled across a strange uh, set of statues that we now believe were part of a very unique and bizarre ritual. Uh, my friend oh, here... Yes, yes, I seem to recall you now. It's been a few weeks. Oh. Yes, yes, you you showed me um, a tattoo, you said it was, wasn't it? This tattoo yes. I'm going to show on my hand. Ah, it is your tattoo. And no. I... Uh, strange. Why would uh, that tattoo be on your hand? Well, I have to say, um, when we first came to you uh, ask, inquiring about this matter, we were very concerned that uh, you might react... Uh, in a way that might put, well, I mean, eh. let's just say that, let's just say that the full circumstance of, of what is going on could cause alarm. Mm, and see. Taken the wrong way, we fear what you may see could be surprising to followers of Bahamut. No. Ah. Now, I want to stress that what has happened was against my friend Kathleen's will, and we want to find a way to reverse the process. Um, the reason why we did not come to you earlier was because, well, we fear that she might consi be considered it might, she might be considered a heretic. Hmm. Well, uh, why, what, what heresy would she have committed to be considered a heretic? I'm, Father, I just ask to please remain calm, and I'm going to take off my hood. I am your god! <laughs> uh, you take off your hood, and you show, uh, he looks at your horns and goes, Well, that's strange. <laughs> An elf with horns, I've never seen that before, I'll admit. Um, you've been infected with a demon? No, and no. I'm going to uh, pull back the cloak and show him the wings and tail. Ha! Huh. That's different. Yeah. Very different. I've not seen this before. From all What is the... it you said you did exactly? I took part in some sort of ritual unknowingly that we believe might be turning me into the firstborn of Bahamut. Well, I would debate the firstborn aspect of it, though your transformation seems to be strange indeed. Um, what What is it you would have me do, exactly? Well, if there's a way to speak to Bahamut, have we tried praying? See, we are, that's... we are, not followers of Bahamut. Uh, of course, we mean him. I have never f meant him. We, we follow our respect. patron god. It's it's yes. not a. You follow Corellin. Yes, we are. Well, well, Bahamut is on good terms with Corellin, last I heard, mm -hmm. or at least the teachings say. Mm -hmm. Still, I, I'd imagine that Corellin would not be too happy with you praying to Bahamut. That I... is the concern. Well, I must confess there has been some rumblings within the church. Um, the faithful of other religions they can speak to their gods. Um, uh, not too often, mind you. It doesn't happen for everyone, but they can. Uh, the followers of Bahamut have not been able to do this. There has not been a reported um follower successfully talking to our god for several hundred years. It has been uh, quite a long time since anyone has ever heard the voice of Bahamut. There are a specific ritual one does to talk with Bahamut? Uh, no, generally you just pray or he comes to you. I mean, it's god. I can't give you any specifics. 
You could, I don't know. Just, whatever right. you do, don't burn any incense because people get crazy around here with that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, what we want to ask of you, Father, as well, is we're uh, attempting to take down uh, Wayne and any any. Wayne, as, yes, any assistance we can get in the matter, blessing weapons, uh, holy water, anything we can use to fight the undead, we greatly appreciate. Well, I would, uh, I would suggest that, can, given your condition, um, you should get your blessing from your god, not Bahama. Um, you know, just to play it on the safe side, if it were. <laughs> you understand, of course. Please don't eat me. Um, <clears throat> Uh, it, it, you you seek the assistance of the clerics here, yes? Yes, and if you do, any information you can give us on Bahamut would be appreciated as well. Any information, um, any information he would give you would be basically straight up uh, information about the god. So you can just look that up. All right. Um, <clears throat> um, this is a suggestion here. While we're here. Um, well, he said that no one's been able to contact Bahamut for some time, but, mm. well, Kathleen's kind of under a very unique set of circumstances. Do you want to try doing it anyway? You would, like to, you would like me to pray on your behalf? Or I could try praying? If you're a follower of Corellin, I might recommend against that. I mean, that's your choice, uh, of course. <sighs> or you could probably try to get permission from Corellin to pray to Bahamut. I guess we'll have to try that. <laughs> oh, I think that we're going to visit the Church of Corellin one way or another. But... Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Is there anything else you need from me? Other than, you know, not to scream in abject terror? I'm gonna put my hood back on. <laughs> Righto. Uh, well, Father, obviously this is a very sensitive condition, and we would appreciate if you could be very uh, protective of the secret. I, um, I have. Uh, I can assure you, I, um, I'm going to pretend this didn't happen. You gotta believe me. This elf came in and she had horns and a tail. <laughs> Yeah, so you see, the rumor is the last time people started talking about imaginary people, they got arrested, so I don't... I <laughs> uh, know. Wait, no. what? What? Who got arrested? Who? Nobody got arrested. I don't know what you're talking about. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, he, so, says you're, he said you're a ghost. Alright, well, thank you, Father. <laughs> Perhaps you might do better with the whiskey than I will, so, uh... Okay. Bye. 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 A strange couple of people, huh? And, um, though you take, you depart from, uh, the church, um, and you were going to head over to the other church? To Corellin, yeah. To Corellin. Now, what is it that you want to do there? <sighs> well, we need to talk with the clerics there, find out if they can give us any assistance, holy water, blessing, or whatever. Well, they, you, uh, I thought we already sort of skipped over that okay. part where yeah. they, they basically agreed to that. Okay. Um, well, so if you want specifics on what they can give you? No, well, the other thing is to ask if Corellin, I guess to pray to Corellin to find out if he'd be very opposed to me speaking with Bahamut. Um, okay. You would, I'm, not sure uh, need, all right. I'm not sure we need a cleric for that. I mean, I think I could lead us in prayer. No, you wouldn't need a cleric. I mean, you would pray to him. Um, anyway, uh, you both would pray, I guess, but... Yeah. Alright, Dother uh, and Kathleen, you decide to uh, start your ritual of prayer for uh, Corellin. Um, after a few minutes, um, you're given uh, almost a vision. Uh, that vision is of an empty chair, and uh, there is nobody sitting at or around this empty chair, and uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Empty... <laughs> Corellin is not home right now. If you would like to leave a message. Dother, <laughs> uh, do you understand what this means? Because I'm going to tell you right now, this is not a bitch and prayer assassin. Um, do I have any sort of insight into the 
Yeah, you you suspect that Corellin is 